Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tie Dip and Chew Guy, and this is a for beginners video. So it will be found in the for beginners playlist. Today I will be going over chewing tobacco. Not chewing tobacco, how you go about chewing tobacco, the act of chewing. So I've gotten questions before and one of my regular commenters asked this past week about what exactly, how, how much chewing I'm doing. Not a lot. I mean, I use chewing tobacco a lot, but I don't actively chew. I don't know anyone that does to tell you the truth. Now, I have noticed people before when talking or when doing videos actively chew, but I think it may be more, that may be more of a, like, nervous tick. Uh, I've noticed guys in person, when talking to other people in person, they start chewing. I don't know if it's some deal, like, you know, to keep them, their mouth occupied. I, I don't know. I don't know. But the actual use of chewing tobacco normally when people aren't talking or doing videos or whatnot is very minimal at best. Um, personally, I, I, I need it a little bit with my molars. And sometimes if I'm not getting it juicing up enough, I will bite, I will make a point of biting down. Besides that, the only chewing I do is when I get it into my mouth. Now, I do not place directly in the cheek, all right? If you've ever seen me do a chew review, I basically sort of take it like I'm eating it. And then with my tongue, I put it into the side, all right? While doing that, I do do a bit of chewing then. I'm just trying to get it packed down, all right? Once it's packed down and it's in my cheek, I really don't do too much. Every once in a while, I will bite down on it or knead it slightly. So if this, let's say, usually I put chew on this side, okay? So if upper and bottom molars on that side, I will, the chew sitting here, all right, next to the, the, the bottom molars. A little bit that comes over the top, I will do sort of a action like this, just chewing sort of the edge of it, all right? I know this is a little bit hard to explain, but I will, will do at least once, two times, sometimes three, while I have one in, I will rotate the pack, all right? So let's say it, sort of resembles an American football, all right? And point end out, point end back. I will rotate the ball in my mouth and I will bring it out of my cheek, rotate it sort of with my molars and then place it back in. So I am going to actually show you this. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to just sit here and talk the whole time. Uh, I pulled the big mountain back out of the refrigeration uh, yeah, uh, I'm doing reviews of pound bags and I'm still buying my own pound bag. So now I got a little bit of a jam up and the big mountain got put to the back of the line. So when I do reviews, I put in more than I probably normally use. The reason for that is I always take a big three finger pinch out to show the product. And since I don't want to put it back in and then re-pick up again to place, I just take that three finger pinch and put that in. So really, in a way, I for most of the reviews, I actually have put more loose leaf in than I probably would normally take. A little bit, a little bit more. So it doesn't matter for me though, because I basically put it like you're eating food, and then I move it over with my tongue. But you can place it in a cheek. Now what you're gonna do is, it's still gonna be a three finger pinch, but you want it to 
be uh, a more compact pitch, which may be a little difficult with this product because it's cut pretty long. But you take it, and what you're going to do is, now I'm going to have to do this on my opposite side because I am right-handed. You sort of put it into your mouth and then push with your thumb. So it's sort of a, and then close pulling your thumb out, all right? Or you could do it the opposite way, pushing with your fingers on this side. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, this stuff is longer, so I'm gonna take a smaller bit, all right? So that is much smaller than what I take during the reviews because during the reviews, I'm trying to show as much of the product as possible. So I'm gonna put this in and I'm gonna pack in to this cheek with my thumb, all right? Nothing really got on my tongue with that. Not the smoothest thing because I don't normally do that. Plus, I have it on the opposite side uh, than I usually have. So, you know what? I'm going to switch this over. Now, I do do a little chewing there. I'm, I'm getting it condensed. I'm getting the pack down. Using my tongue a little bit. And it's packing down along my lower gum line. Now, there is no sliding this stuff around, obviously. I'm not going to be, it's not like a dip. I'm not going to be able to slide around. So I'm going to have to bring it out and over. But I'm much more comfortable on this side. Now it's over here. I don't have a big deal with coming in contact mouthwise with tobacco. Not even dip. Uh, sometimes I will, instead of sweeping around, I will take Stoker's Long Cut and put it over the top too. I have no issue with my tongue, underneath my tongue even, roof of my mouth, whatnot. Some people do that. Some people have issue, like they want it to get it exactly where in the lip and they don't want anything to move or go out of place. I don't really care. Because really, the juices of this stuff is going all over your mouth anyway. If it wasn't, you wouldn't be getting any nicotine. So, you know. So, if you look at old like Red Man commercials, they usually do a deal where they pack in with the thumb. Okay, so what they're doing, tight deal, all right? I just put it in like I'm eating a piece of cake and then move it over. Now, when I first got it in, you did notice there was some chewing. I was basically compacting the, the pinch down I also used my tongue for that. So, I mean, it's now fairly compact. Now, it comes over the teeth. It comes above your bottom molars a little bit, even the smaller pinch that I did. I will, from time to time, do a, sort of do a deal like, obviously not with my mouth open when I do that, but for the sake of showing you what I'm talking about, Right there, back of the molars. Or if I'm really, really dry. I do this a lot during the summer. So when I'm outdoors. If I'm, you know, dry, dehydrated, whatnot. I will sometimes pull up the whole plug up between my molars and bite down. And I might give it a couple bites. Just to get it juicing a little bit. But I'd say 90% of the time, it's just sitting like this. It's, it's just sitting in there. Uh, you know, I, it, 
some chewing tobaccos will take more actual chewing than others. Now, for all my complaints with American Snuff Company products, having too many secondary stems and being drier and whatnot, I will give them that if you are actively chewing, their loose leaf, Levi Garrett, you know, Taylor's Pride, Morgan's, that those products will take more actual chewing. Some Stoker's products will not, okay? They are so saturated and so wet that if you start chewing on them, like chewing, like the apple, it'll just start breaking down to smaller and smaller bits. When you try to get it out of your mouth, it'll be like having a whole bunch of floaters everywhere, all right? Because the tobacco is so saturated and the moisture is so high, it doesn't take much to start mashing that up into smaller bits. So, it, it depends on the product. But really, if you look at old commercials and whatnot, there's nobody sitting on a Red Man commercial going, No. There's a bulge. Sometimes... They have it up high. It's just there. Sort of the same idea as dip, only with this, you can do a little bit more to it without having a complete and utter mess on your hands. So, the flip. Now, I have a, from my back molar up to about here, okay? I get it out, and then I rotate it. And then I put it back in. All right. The reason I'm doing that is because you're dealing with a larger bit of tobacco. On this side of it and up to the gum, up the gum and around the cheek is coming in contact with skin, which will get the your 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 salivatory glands going. But the top part. And a good portion that's meeting the teeth is not coming in contact with skin. It's not really doing anything. All right. I rotate it so I get that tobacco that was in contact with my teeth down towards skin, gum, however you want to think of it. All right. And usually when you do that, it will, between the movement, your tongue moving it, and the repositioning of tobacco on the gum line or cheek, either or, it'll start juicing again. Now, you see me spinning here. I'm doing very little actual chewing. And if I was not talking to this little glowing dot in front of me, I'd still be doing this. Yeah, I mean, I can bite down on it. If, if I was really dry, if I was outside, and it was just sort of not doing anything, it wasn't juicing up, nothing like that, it will automatically stop, start juicing. But really, that is sort of more like in the idea of... Okay, th th it's not bubble gum, okay? This isn't bubble yum. Think of it more as like Nicorette, like first generation Nicorette. Need nicotine? Bite down on it. Nobody, you, originally, Nicorette, I don't know about the newer products, you don't actually chew that stuff. You just bite down on it when you want nicotine release. Think of it the same way with this. Now, I've bit down on it a couple times showing you, and I've repositioned it once. I've been spitting the whole time. though. It's the nature of the product. All right. The, the nature of the product is that it, it, it's really going to get your glands going and you're going to start salivating more than you would with dip. Part of it is also where you're placing it. It's back towards some of those glands. All right. It's coated more heavily with stuff that's generally sweet. All right. So, 
with a lot of these things, guys, I know you, like there'll be people that are new. There'll be people that are watching this that are well familiar with dip for a long time, but really don't know about chew. So really, when I say for beginners, it you know, it's for everybody. But although you want to have a general idea, sort of like what I've just tried to give you here, at the same time, you don't want to overthink anything ever, really. In, in general, in life, try not to overthink things. You go through the main option, a couple po possibilities otherwise, and then you decide between them. If you start running through things back and over and over, you're ruminating. That's called ruminating. You're getting nowhere. You're just spinning your wheels for absolutely no reason. So don't try to overthink it. But the general the general gist of this is you're not chewing this like it's a wad of bubble gum. All right? It's sort of sitting there for the majority of the time. You can knead it a little bit if you want to. You can bite down on it to get release of flavor. And I personally rotate it. But besides that, that, you know, don't, don't, don't overthink it be, beyond that. Um, and that's that. And for some reason, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying, what I'm saying is there's no exact right way to do this. That's what I'm trying to get across here. So, I mean, for some reason, if you enjoy chewing the hell out of it until it's mush in your mouth and, you know, whatever, then keep doing that. There, there's no written law to this, all right? It's just do what works for you, basically. If you enjoy it and it works for you, then keep doing that, all right? This is just guidance for those who want it. This is not a it's this way or no way type deal. Anyway, I am the suit and tie dip and chew guy. I will be getting the shout outs in one of the next videos sometime later this week. So if you've been wondering about that. But in the meantime, I do hope you all are well. Do take care of yourselves. And as always, God bless.